ask you something. Yes, go ahead. Do you think we have rode of far ahead? I think we should return back now. Well, son, consider this to be your lucky day. Lucky? How come? Because the fact, because you get to spend time amidst this beautiful nature, and the fact that you're getting a break from your usual so-called routine. Huh? Break? If you really want to give me a break, mm-hmm. then bring me an Xbox 360. But you already have a PlayStation video game. But Xbox is Xbox, and it's much cooler. Hmm. I'll think about it. I bet you won't regret for it. Oh yeah. Sure, but on one condition. But. But why there has to be a condition all the time? Well, if you really want your T-Box 260, you have to accept my challenge. It's 360, and it's a Xbox, Dad. Huh? Well, it's a game. Doesn't matter whatever the hell you call it. Okay, fine. Now tell me what I have to do now. Wow, that's good. Well, you have to beat me at a cycle race. Hmm, I think I can do that. Oh, all right then. Shall we start the race? Yes. One, two. Wait, wait, wait. Now what? What's the finishing line? When we reach the dead end of the road, probably two kilometers across. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. Now are you ready for the race? Yes. One, two, hey cheetah.
You can't fool me this time. Come on, get up fast. No, Dad, I'm hurt. Oh, sure you are. I won't get into your petty tricks this time. So don't even try. Bye there. Dad, wait. Dad. Dad. Come on, get up. Face your defeat like a man, kiddo. No, Dad, it's really paining. I can't move. Oh, really? Oh, sorry, dear. I thought you were kind of pulling my leg again. Wait, let me fix you with the first tip. Obviously it will hurt. You better not fool around like this the next time. Ouch. Ouch. Show me your hand. Ah. And don't worry, it's just a scratch. It will heal in a few days. Wait, wait, I'll help you up. Give me your hand. Come on. Slowly. Okay? Come, let's go. Dad, I can't ride my bicycle. <laughs> you naughty liar. You just need another excuse not to ride the cycle. It's okay. We'll go double seat. Wait a minute. Ahead of you, technically, I stand better chances to win the race. Don't you think that? Well, technically, you are retired, hurt son, and right now you can't even stand up to even be in the race. Haha, <laughs> that's really funny, Dad. <laughs> Come on, get down. But Dad, where are we going now? Well, there is more to see. No, but there are no roads. It's a dead end. Well, we have to walk from here. We'll go to the top of the mountains. Okay. This is. Isn't it? Yes, Dad. But what is this place exactly called? This place is called Kaneri Caves. It was built in 1st century BCE to the 10th century CE. And these caves are made by the Buddhist. But what were the Buddhists doing in these caves? Well, they used these caves for studying and meditation. Oh, alright. Han. Yes, Dad. Han. 
Hello. Hello. I love you, Dad. I love you, Rehan. I love you too. Rehan lost the race. No, I didn't. I was injured. Then prove it. You only applied the bandage. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Who? Rehan. Rehan, that's enough. Come on. Coming, Dad. Wow, Dad, that was amazing. Yes, my son, and our life is also like an echo. But how it relates to our life? Hmm. Let me give you my example. When I was young, I I used to steal money from home without realizing what my parents would feel about it. But one day. My dad caught me red-handed. He was angry, but left without uttering a word. I never imagined my father would be so upset with my one action that even my achievements would then fail to win his heart. He avoided talking to me. No matter how much I tried, whenever I tried to speak with him, he was always silent. I didn't know what to do. It took me a lot of efforts and time to gain his trust back. So this is what I have learned that life gives you back everything you say or do. Our life is simply a reflection of our own actions. I don't want you to go through which I went through. Now, lucky to get a second chance. Come on, let's go ahead. Yes. This looks like a lovely place, Rehan. Let's sit here for a while. Okay, Dad. Remember one more thing my son just like an echo we all have our inner echo the speech of the almighty he dwells in us and we can hear his call but why can't i hear it because of all the outer hustle and bustle we are unable to hear the inner melodies of ourselves if we peep inward we can clearly hear god's echo our conscience is god's echo but god is in the sky isn't he No my dear god is everywhere like i said earlier god is inside us in fact he is in you in me in the mountains the birds plants land water in everything we just have to be at peace to hear him but how do i be in peace to hear him by being true to yourself and good to others now are you ready for this yes one You, hey cheetah. Dad. Khan. You cheetah. I can do anything to achieve Xbox 360. Yes, Dad. I understood what were you trying to explain me. I shouldn't have cheated you in the cycle race. I wasn't being true to myself. I'm extremely sorry about that. Good. At least you were modest enough to accept and realize your mistake. That's a good start. Now you could clearly hear your inner echo. I'm proud of you that you have learned a great lesson of life today. Come on, let's have food. I'm starving. Yes. What do we have today? Dad, you know my inner voice is saying that today also you have bought cheese sandwiches, and I hope that I am right. 
Oh yeah? Your inner voice has started working now? Yes. 